Rubbish! 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 Even in the age of the internet, we're still getting junk coming through the letterbox. Furs has a plan. Now, of course, we have seen people put like paper shredders behind letterboxes. You'll put a letter through and it shreds it. But it's not going to get rid of old blooming big thick catalogue. No! We need something with power! We're going to make one of them shredding machines. You've probably seen them before. People chuck cars and all sorts of them. It's basically like a load of gears and cogs that kind of mesh into each other and just chew it all to bits. We're going to make a smaller version and put it right here. So no matter what comes through, it just gets chewed to bits. Yes, got myself this 240 volt winch. We take this out of its frame. Rather than this wire thing, it's that's where we have all the teeth and gears and stuff. Put this next to our letterbox, rig up some sort of switch so it turns on, and then when the postman comes with his rubbish, he'll put it through and it will be crushed to pieces. Right, let's whip this apart. Hmm. Righty ho, righty ho. We've got a nice hexagon shaft which we can get on, that should hopefully be useful. Now next up we need to work out how we're going to put all our crushy teeth, you know, whether we're going to have to gear it down, how it's all going to get set up. And then, Colin, you shall start building. Oh, yes. Ah, I've wanted to make one of these for a long time, but of course it's the making of this which has held me back. But now I've got the old Swifty cutter, I can do it. Right, I'm going to slide this over here, like so. Another bit the other side of it to support it. We've got some big old gears to step it down, so we've got a bit more power. It'll run a bit slower, but I think I'd rather have power than speed at the moment. Which will then go on to my shredding bar. Now for that, we've got a bit of hex. Our cutting blades, they slide over the hex so they can't slip. Now then, there's three different ones of these because the little hexagon in the middle has been offset by 20 degrees. So when you put them on, you can see down here, look, that the teeth are not in line with each other. They go in like a spiral. Now all this is gonna sit here. That's gonna go all the way through there. And then we're gonna have this aluminium blocking housing all the way around the outside, like so. Fix, pin all that together bolt it onto a base and then hopefully we'll have two nice solid cutting bits coming through feeding stuff through the letterbox booyah now there's a lot of question marks over this is it going to have enough power is this all going to be strong enough am i going to be able to make this accurate enough is it going to start cutting into itself binding up getting stuck Blah. <laughs> supposed to do this with a hammer. Oh, I've never cut a keyway before. This is all new. Raise the bar here, Mr. Fuzzy. I know it's only bolting two bits of aluminium together, but it, they're square and the holes line up. That's good. Ooh. <laughs>
smacking it with a hammer. You're gonna break that, Colin. Yeah. Oh, just broaching a keyway. Oh, I'll be broaching a keyway with my foot. Broaching a keyway. <laughs> That's enough for that first. <laughs>something wrong here this shouldn't struggle on a piece of paper no so basically I took it to bits and realized that you couldn't even turn the gears by hand now I know I'm gonna need bearings in this thing but before I put all these plates in that was pretty free moving so I'm thinking I've got something something's binding up here so I took it all out I cleaned them all down and I ground a little bit off this side and that's made a hell of a difference I can now move it all by hand pretty freely put it all back together it's got a little bit better it does a tin can now. Mr. Tin Can. But that's still not good enough. No. So, I'm going to biff off this 300 watt motor and replace it with this. This 1300 watt motor. But I'm not just going to stick one on. I thought, well, now I've got to make an adjustment. I might as well make the mother of all adjustments. Let's have two motors. Yes, I'm going to get one top and bottom. So one motor does this one, the other motor does that one. <laughs> Double the power. Next video, I'll have done all that. We'll whack it on the back of the letterbox and see what happens. Yes! <laughs> Subscribe.